Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone, to Star Wars Empire at War. Beginning once again exactly, exactly where we left off, we're just uh, building up some defences on our frontier worlds over here, as uh, we've been exposed previously from an attack from Fondor, which is looking fairly empty now. We have repelled that. We are going to have to uh, scout that out properly, though. So what we can do, rather than build anything, is actually bring up, I think, either a Sarge Ventress or a Dirge over here, as they are stealth units. They can just sit on top of there and have a quick look about. Uh, so far, it's not looking like there's any static, static defences there, and that is going to be a Dreadnought tier shipyard. So that'd be excellent to push up over there so that we can really close off this frontier over here. However, we're still open to attacks from, from Procitlin, which we did lose, and uh, we're open from Naboo as well, which does open up a lot of avenues for the Republic to attack. So we're going to have to uh, push up over here and build some sorts of defences, aren't we? So we're going to go for a Golan 2 over here to begin with. Um, and we're going to start with a Trade Federation outpost, I think. Might even, if we take back Brasitlin, go for a Trade Port. Although we might actually have one. Might be better actually to get one on Tyburn over here. Let's do that. We do have a massive amount of credits, which we're just not using. So that is an error we need to correct immediately. Uh, on Utapau, I think we want, really, to build some turbo laser defences over here, just in case they attack from Procitlum. And we're going to build up our standing garrison over here. I think Droidicas actually don't go too badly as a starting garrison, but we also want some sort of anti-tank. do have AA over here, uh, so we're going to get some Dwarf Spiders and True Spiders as well. Uh, over on Pantora, what do we have? Not really a lot, just Scouts to be honest. This is not going to get very well defended at all, so I want to focus on space. Uh, we don't actually have any static defense there. We can't actually build anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so, we're going to build, uh, instead, a Golan Space Colony to increase our population by 150. And that will allow us to get some greater uh, standard defences, won't it? Uh, let's go for some True Spiders. Uh, three, four, we get one more slot. We go for some AA as well. Geonosis is going to have to get some sort of orbital, orbital defence. We get a Golan 2 up there. And we come down here, I think we have a full garrison, we don't, that's rather interesting. So we are going to go for some HMP gunships, go for two of those, and we will get a unit of artillery, and I think we're okay for infantry, so um, let's get some AA perhaps, let's get some AA, we do have the heavy factories to defend there. We also have Mandalore exposed as well. We can see the enemy is going to be set to invade. We can see quite a horrible invasion force there, and I'd love to intercept that. Um, unfortunately, that is going to have a space station above there. Could try and take these four Munificents and uh, the Luke Hulk over here and try and get that quickly. We have two tactical droids here. One's in a Recusant Destroyer. Let's go and intercept that as quickly as possible, I think. Come on game, we need to catch up. And come on, there we go. What we'll do is bring in a carrier first and we'll push in over here. And while we're doing that, we do still need to separate some ships over here, strengthen this particular fleet. Like so, just take a few. And that's that, we do have some victories now above though. So that's gonna be rather a nasty fight. So, we don't have the greatest amount of ships available. We do have a Lucra Hulk Auxiliary uh, Control Warship, which is rather, rather interesting. This does act as a fleet tender, and of course it gives combat bonus for fighters. That is excellent. We do have a very minor command tier. Tier 5 from the Tactical Droid is the worst, but not a bother. It is a bonus anyway. We do still get a good amount of fighters and bombers from it. So we're going to drop this right in the center there. And we can see we have still got all of the transport ships about, so that's actually accounted for quite a bit of the uh, stack uh, numbers there. But we're going to want, of course, our carriers to come in. And of course we will want something in the back here to focus the enemy. I do think we're going to have some heavy frigate losses here, unfortunately, but we do need to bring in everything as a distance there. Luke Hulk should hopefully suck up the fire if we're lucky and we can avoid some 
Uh, we do have a Star Destroyer here. And that's a victory one. That just looked like a true Star Destroyer. Yeah, already taking a lot of damage on the front of this Munificent there, which is rather, rather nasty indeed. Are our fighters actually going to turn up? Doesn't appear so. Not looking like it just yet, is it? Come on, guys. There we go. Need you to defend. Need to get on top of these bombers. We could take our own bombers on top of this ship over here. Now we're looking. Shields are getting weak. We have lost a Munificent already. Get on top of the heavy turbo lasers over here. We'll just focus one by one. Guess on top of the Venisa. Trying to figure out exactly uh, who is shooting us here. It looks like this victory over here, actually. Get the dual turbo lasers there, please. And the medium dual turbo lasers once again. Just rip these apart. Luke Hulk will need support. There we go, there's one victory down. Yeah, not doing too great here. Overestimated the power of this particular Luke Hulk. Let's take some fighters. And actually, yeah, we need to go for this. Regroup the bombers. Make sure we are going for this once again. The Venator. Nice to actually have to retreat out of this. Unfortunately, I don't want to lose that Luke Hulk, unfortunately. Do that hopefully before we lose all, all of our engines. But it looks like, yep, yeah, we didn't actually manage to destroy the station over here. And that is the Luke Hulk down, unfortunately. That is rather a shame already. Rather a shame already. That's right there. Yeah, that's quite the bother. What happened to the enemy attack forces then? Let's try and focus our fighters over here so we do get something out of this. Need to move as quickly as possible though. Try and move our carriers back so that we don't lose as soon as we lose all of these ships over here. Because if we are going to lose this battle, we want to take something really substantial with us. And that is going to come from destroying these enemy ships over here. And at least nullifying a land invasion. That's rather unlucky though. But I'm sure we will get some support soon enough. Let's try and get on top of these. Come on, they're so small. Can barely target them. But they did have an A6 Juggernauts in this particular group, so at least want to get these heavy, heavy vehicles down. Come on, it needs to hide. You can see how powerful a mass group of victories is, though. They're very, very good at destroying enemy ships and large capital ships, of course. They do have the concentrated firepower. I get rid of this before its shields come back up. And we have just a few ships over here. And then we can probably try and retreat again. We do have to get rid of this interdiction mine. Just to save a few ships, of course. What is this? Is that a diamond? Might be. Doesn't look it, though. Now that we think about it. Yeah, just need to stay out of range here. This looks like we're having trouble with the controls, unfortunately, but we have removed that interdiction mine. Is that all of the enemy transports? I believe so. Let's retreat then. Actually, there's one just over here. Yeah, just get rid of this one, because that might actually be something very special. So we'll uh, press fast forward. And there comes the retreat. So the enemy is able to deploy more interdiction mines, unfortunately. And that has highlighted that we have actually been defeated. They course up with us rather unluckily. But what did we get from the land troops? We did get a Jedi Knight squad, four ATOCs, and we did get an A6 Juggernaut. So I think really, for the greater good of things, I will happily take that trade. We do still need to get above Ord Kestis and get these invasions going. 
control that space. Get to all Kestus. Is that everything we want? I think we need more infantry. What do we have on Mandalore? Just some defences at the moment. A new mission. Um, send stealth units to Munilinst and Arcania for some Sabeth Hex deployers. They're not particularly bad. Some decent carriers. But I'm not overly bothered about taking that mission just yet. So come back over here. And what do exactly do we have? I think we're doing pretty decent. Six crab droids, some anti-tank, let's go for this. So with this particular battle, we can actually just hold at this particular victory point here, and we should win without being able to push, and that's not too bad. So going to build a military field base here. We're going to bring in some crab droids, two of those. We're going to bring in some ATs. Um, I think. Do we want to bring in some artillery? That is a question. I think artillery might not be a bad idea for now. That's been cancelled. Been not in the right position. I'm going to scout ahead to Tad to see if there's any build pads. And there's certainly some around the corner here. Getting stuck while we build this. We're not too worried at the moment. That'll sort itself out. And over here I think we'll build some anti-infantry and some anti-tank on this side. Doesn't appear to be a build pad over here. Might want to pick up the refinery as uh, denoted on the minimap over here for a credit bonus. So the idea here is of course that uh, the crab droids should be able to deal with any infantry and the wrist rockets and the cannons from the AATs should act as some sort of anti-vehicle if we need to. Do have some populace over here which we've neglected and that'd be nice to actually capture this command point very quickly to increase our, of course, support. I'm going to move over here very quickly. There is a mining facility down here actually. I'm going to take this particular unit and drop them onto that. Yeah, we're being caught already, but we do already have a landing zone, which is excellent. So we're going to deploy, I think, at the back over here as quickly as possible. Okay, so what do we see over here? TX-130 can get down over here, take the crab droids onto the enemy infantry. Getting on top of that, getting on top of that, capturing this command post, and actually that means we can deploy our new reinforcements over here. We're taking the standard troops over here, taking the tank droids, some more crabs are always useful, we'll leave the extra points there just for later to see what we want to change about that. Absolutely loving crab droids, absolutely loving crab droids. And I think we will go for the victory objective. So it looks like we've won because of the turret up here, so we're going to take that once again. We're going to capture these two command uh, buildings over here, or rather the build pads, should say, because we do know how to play the game. We're actually going to get rid of this uh, anti-aircraft gun, so that we can bring in some aerial supports. We do see an ATTE over there. We need to deal with that as quickly as possible. Do see uh, TX-130 coming in, so let's come around the side here. Crabs, unfortunately, I'm going to do loads and loads of damage to that. Come around, this is a very awkward bridge crossing here. It gets rinsed by the ACT if that notices. Need to bring up some reinforcements. Bombing run is available if we need us against the ACT. Should be okay if we concentrate our firepower. Have lost a spider droid, they are very vulnerable to ACTs. But concentrated firepower does win the day. We are taking this particular command post over here. We have lost the infantry over here, so something is trying to deal with that. So let's have a look, shall we? Take a closer look. Just make sure we take this. We'll take that as a back to healing station. And we will retreat with these units over here. What was going on up here then? It looks like they might. Yeah, they have a Taurus over here. In fact, they have two. Okay, so we can just sit on that. Just need it for the victory point over there. 
And we'll bring up some crab droids over here, because we don't need all of these units on top of here, exactly. Just to support our tanks. I'll push up to take the uh, take the build pad there. We will push up with these droids and take the refinery while possible. We can actually see they're coming in with another ATT. I think we're just going to bomb and run this. Because that might come in and take out the second one there. Okay, interesting. We need to hold that in place so that the bombing run can actually have a good effect. Looks like they're taking some source of fire. That's actually collaterally got the barracks over there, which is excellent. So that's a lot less infantry coming in. We're very close to actually taking the victory position here. I want to hurry up to this refinery then. But we have actually won. That was a very uh, a very easy victory, if you ask me. I'll take that after the uh, defeat for the previous space battle. Look at that. No losses either side. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay, let's be quick. We need to bring reinforcements over here and take Sereno. Okay, just chuck these in there on one stack so it's easy to command. And we'll drop in with some crabs to begin with. And that will do. Let's go. Now, this particular battle is going to be a tad more difficult. Let's just deploy it properly here. Uh, because the enemy does have a very special artillery piece. We're going to bring in our own artillery. Uh, when we can, we will build a field base over there. Not getting an indicator, unfortunately. Um, it's very, very tempting to bring in our HMPs over here, but I think we're going to begin with an infantry push. Um, and we're going to push with some B2s there. Push over to this command post to increase our reinforcement ability. Uh, and then we could go straight down to the enemy base over here. Uh, and that might have to be the case if we're going in this direction, because that's then quite so awkward to come back down here and straight for this victory point. We could go straight for this command post, but I think we have an easier time getting over here and increasing our pop cap. So having said that, we're going to rush this unit of crab droids over. As a scouting group. We will deploy our artillery already. And that is fairly safe to sit in this base. It looks like it should have the range to cover things. Already under attack here, which is rather, rather nasty. From speeder bikes. So I'm going to fire. And we weather the speeder bikes. Because technically they count as vehicles. Might want to just pop on over her side. Have secured this landing zone. We're going to deploy it down this end though. And I think we will actually deploy some of these so we can rush the enemy artillery. Because we're going to lose over here. They do have some aerial units of their own, interestingly, but our AATs should be able to deal with that. We will deploy our artillery once again. And that rush was very useful. So, what are we doing with these? We're trying to find the enemy artillery. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Definitely need some horrible anti-tank of our own there. Let's come down here, see where we can find that artillery. Let the gunships walk over so they do get destroyed. And we're going to move forwards over here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's where it is. But unfortunately, we're going to have some retreats because that is beating us up. We've already lost a squad, unfortunately. Very nasty indeed. Needs to focus over here, thank you very much. Hopefully this is standing garrison. I don't believe these units come out from buildings. So when our bombing run is ready, I think we will charge these in to the enemy massive guns. I forget the name of it. I believe it's just one long number to be honest. So we're struggling with a hill over here. Another gunship there, which is nasty. We're going to have to deal with that. We do have these over here, of course, to help. Deal with the UCAC, which will hold the ground for a bit of time. Retake this command post, because it's going to be stuck otherwise. 
And I think we're going to want to move. Yeah, we're certainly going to want to move because the enemy artillery is back there. What exactly is that called? RX 200 Falchion. And we shall refer to it as such in the future. Get a support field base up here. And I've not noticed. There's a uh, build pad. I really want to get some repairs up. Let's keep these out of the way for now. Guess our artillery over so it's safer. Scouts ahead with these. So we quite likely just miss some build pads. Yeah, anti infantry gun needs to go down immediately. We do have a support group out now, so we can bring that over. Okay, some clones. We're going to leave those for now. We are going to deploy the artillery just over here. Give that tiny bit of extra space. Protect it, the rear with some crabs. And we'll get, I think, repair and an anti infantry ourselves. And the repair can go to these HMPs, because I don't want to lose those quite so quickly. Can we sneakily grab this? No, the enemy's taking it there, so we're going to grab this uh, build pad. There is a sensor over here, but it's not going to cover the map as much as I would like. Yep, yeah, okay, let's just jump on that. That's probably going to miss, though. Can we hold that in place with a sacrifice. Yeah, that's just missed, hasn't it? That's rather unlucky. But the enemy is retreating, so we're going to run off. Does mean that Falchion will survive. But at least we will take the planet with minimal losses. And that is going to make me very happy. Going to make me very happy indeed. And actually, okay, so the enemy does lose that Falchion. Um, that's quite likely because they don't have an adjacent planet to retreat to. And that's very, very good indeed. So that's a very special, powerful unit out of the way there without really giving it too many enemies to feed, which is excellent. Very, very good indeed. So, bring Grievous back up, but Decanamoidia, no, 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 no. That's because, oh, I don't think we'd have uh, forced against us anyway uh, with what we had around there. That does mean we're going to have to run all the way down either with this group I think that might have to be the case because Grievous and such are going to have to battle through different planets. Quarter 6 has to be on the next uh, of our hit list um, to actually free up these planets and Argonar once again. So, we're going to have to say bye bye to the orbit of Decanamoidia, but we do have some decent ground units to deal with an invasion, I think. But we're going to have to come in, of course, with this particular unit, make sure we're fine for that very quickly. But I don't think we're going to make this in time, are we? Let's come up over here. Get Grievous back up into the space. And of course, reinforce our more forward bases now. Bring Grievous over to Quell at the moment. And we do actually get over here before the enemies landed. That's rather interesting. They haven't... Oh, dearie dear, we've missed something over here. That is... Let's double check the name of it. I mean, it's ten Venators, but we have a Praetor. And once again, this is probably a fight we shouldn't have taken. So, do we want to take this fight? Do we want to take this fight? I mean, we sort of have to if we want to keep Deck and Amoidia, I think. Mm, I'm not... I'm not in any particular rush to bring in our hero. Uh, we'll see, we're gonna have to bring in the battleship and that will do better than the auxiliary control ship. Um, it will get ripped apart by that Praetor, unfortunately. We do have the credits to replace this, but perhaps not the time it takes. Either way, if we do want to retreat, we're gonna have to take out this particular mine over here. It's gonna have to come around the back here, I think. And we will, of course, bring in all of our fighters and such, on my way. Right. Right. where possible. We're going to bring in, of course, the frigates, which do do damage. We're going to bring in the Providence. Uh, these were captain munitions, weren't they? We're going to need these because they do bring in a decent amount of uh, fighters and bombers. But we'll bring those in as laser reinforcements because we need some direct damage as well, don't we? 
And we're going to bring in some Gazantes, I think. This is going to be a toughie. There will be heavy losses on both sides once again. So, we'll let the uh, Luke Hulk do its thing. Fire on the victories as quickly as possible. Make sure that fighter bay goes down quickly, I think, actually. Before they deploy. We'll rip apart this. You can see already that uh, the battleship is doing better against the victories. But, of course, big old Praetor over here. Big old Praetor. And we're going to have to rely on our own fighters and bombers to deal with that, I think, for the time being. Of which we don't have loads. So let's immediately set that on, just generally, I think. Deal with the Carrack over here. They've lost our shields already. Have dealt with a good amount of ships, though. Try and focus far over here. Yeah, lost the frigates already ourselves. Yeah, another. Get the Gazantes on to just remove the shields, I think, over here. Deal with enemy frigates and such ourselves. Do have an enemy hero over here to deal with. And that will provide bonuses, so we need to shut that down. Need to just deal with this over here, thank you. Deal with the enemy Venator, please. I forget the guy's name, Admiral Coburn. Interesting. Yeah, that loot goal is going down very quickly indeed. Does only have rear guns now. Okay, let's get rid of the escorts there. Bombers, straight on there. Starfighters on, enemy bombers, and that is that ship down. We're coming in with our own. Now we need more bombers and such. Need more direct damage as well. Drop that here, please, thank you. We're coming with this one. Point defense up. Okay, we really need to focus this uh, praise now, I think. General Grievous frowns on such ineptitude, usually with yeah, I'm on. Might actually just have to retreat out of here. Because those shields aren't going down anytime soon by the looks of things. We're losing a lot, a lot of ships in return. That's where our bombers and such up to. Just not dealing with these shields, are we? Just not dealing with the shields. I really don't want to have to lose this hero as well. What we need in this area is another subjugator, I think. Since we just lost our own uh, capital ship in the form of that Lucre Hulk, really need a subjugator, I think, to have to deal with this uh, Praetor. Oh, this, uh, those shields are starting to go down. We're starting to lose ships ourselves. Oh, there we go. Let's bring this one. These are the munitions carriers. More fighters and bombs. Why can't we take on this interdiction mine? Game's struggling a bit there. Almost like we're just not firing at all here. Okay, so that interdiction mine's down. Might just have to retreat out, unfortunately. That's very sad to say, but look at the losses we've taken. Have inflicted losses on the enemy, of course. Uh, just not enough. It's never enough, is it? And they've bought a retreat. Where is that interdiction mine, then? Where is that? That's ah, all the way down here. That's very, very cheeky. That's very, very cheeky indeed, actually. Uh, that's very out the way. Very much out the way. Okay. What we can do, actually, is just bring in some reinforcements here to deal with that. Let's try and get rid of just another ship here at least. We dealt with that, so we certainly have. Retreat again. Very, very sad to have to see these retreats today. But, I mean, look at all of these losses. Look at all of these losses. This is going to mean a very hefty 
uh, time away from the front line here for this particular for fleet. Now, the Republic's coming out in force once again. You can see Luke and Hulk's aren't the answer to everything. But we are going to be able to retrieve out of that. Uh, so we'll certainly take it. And just be happy with uh, what we did survive with. I mean, look at that. Uh, Luke and Hulk, of course, uh, forming essence, which we do get quite often. Uh, we get the Providence loss as well, which is rather a hefty uh, loss. But we did destroy an enemy hero. The Republic does get a lot of heroes, unfortunately. Um, we did destroy a couple of victories there, but it is, of course, that praise, and we're going to have to expect a land invasion there. So what we're going to do is, unfortunately, pull back here. Coming to Wayland. That is rather interesting. We do have Juaningo over here. Let's bring him in. Get down here. Mm, not entirely sure where they're going. Oh, that's nasty. That's very... That's... That's dirty. That's very, very dirty. We got... Have we really got nothing above under on here? How the hell did they get over here? I suppose uh, they went... That's a, dis that's a very strange uh, reaction time, if that's the case, because there's no way they went to Onderon without taking on at least our space station. Um, I'm just trying to figure that out, because otherwise it's Hambarin, Kuat, Alderaan, Coruscant, Corrida, Ethor, Ovis Wayland in that short space of time. Unless it was Mimban, Umbara, Kashyyyk, Quarter Six, and Wayland. But that's still very, very quick. And what that means is we've retreated and opened ourselves up to a very, very horrible invasion. No, that's actually the same. Look at that. They do still have the fleet over there. So what that means is they have two uh, praetors. And that's very, very horrible indeed. But there's not much we can do about that. And I don't think we're going to be able to take this fight successfully either because of that praetor. We're going to have to go in and try and retreat out of that once again. And of course, we didn't quite take the time to deploy correctly, did we? But this is everything we have. There's no way we're standing up to that praetor. No way we're standing up to that praetor with what we have here. Um, this is a this is a hide battle. <laughs> hide, take down any interdiction mines. I do see one over there. Going to have to go for that. Going to have to go for that. With fire and bombers. That's very sad, they do have two. Well, we've uh, destroyed all of the interdiction mines, but I'm getting very, very greedy here, and that will be the downfall. We're just going to make sure we try and destroy these pelters, because they will deploy more interdiction mines, unfortunately. We have taken on the fair bulk of this uh, fleet, though. But once again, that Praetor is going to prove too hard a target, unfortunately, especially since we don't have any reinforcements coming in for ourselves. Uh, so I think we're going... Let's make sure this particular pelter goes down. Come on. You know you can do it. You know you can do it. Bombers and fighters doing very well against that, despite uh, Pelters actually being uh, point defense ships. Gonna have to move away here out of the range. Let's press retreat once again. I hope they don't produce any more interdiction mines because we're starting to lose ships. And we're going to lose this uh, Colocoid Swarm here. Um, and I might lose this one. No, that's okay. We're going to lose the Colocoid Swarm because it did lose its engines. But. As far as retreats go, I can certainly take the loss of the Colovexes and more minor ships uh, to destroy an invincible. That does mean we can come in with a greater force, but of course now we have a rather horrible defence of, de of, excuse me, Decanamoidia. Um, so what exactly do we have to deal with? We have to deal with Obi-Wan apparently, we have to deal with Aayla Sakura, and we have to deal with some Jedis as well as a lot of very hefty vehicles and artillery. However, the enemy doesn't seem to hold uh, any infantry uh, other than these heroes and such. So this, we do have a small chance here. We do have a small chance. Right, well, off the bat, we can see that we do actually have our previously deployed anti-infantry guns over here. We do have an anti-vehicle turret over here, which means we do want to move forwards, I think, towards this particular command post. 
Though that does mean the doesn't mean, of course, the enemy isn't going to come around in this particular direction where we have no defences. And so what we need to do is build up, of course, some defences over here. Let's bring the dwarf spiders down. Bring stuff up over here. Bring up anti-air weaponry in the rear, I think, so that the bombing runs can't come from that particular direction. They've deployed with both heroes and an UCAC and an ATT. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. I'll probably deploy some troopers, of course. Sit over here with this particular artillery. Keep hold of our stats so that they can deal with enemy heroes, I think. I'm not entirely sure which direction they're going, unfortunately. How have we secured this over here? We have secure the build pad here. And of course, we want the field bases, don't we? So, where are the, uh, what are they deployed over here? Let's take these away, out of the way just for now. Re-engage. Okay, bring the stats round. I would love to see where the enemy heroes are. What's that? What's that? Alien Sakura is there. She's doing nasty. She's doing very badly. She's doing very badly. Sakura might go down. Can't see her in all of this mess, though. Come on. If we can get her with some larger caliber weapons, that would be great. She's gone down. That is larger to the artillery. We need to deploy this one as well, actually. And that appears to be a, another Jedi over here, of course. Only other one. Focus fire there, because the Ace, or UT-80, sorry, is retreating. Actually, that might just be a standard Jedi Knight. Ah, oh, it's Obi-Wan, lovely. Ooh, nasty aerial unit there. Very, very nasty. Right, we need to get on top of this, though. Let's chase this down. Try and push right into this over here before their artillery can get onto us. Okay, get on top of this, like I said, so the artillery can't hurt us too badly. We do have an anti gun of their own there, unfortunately. Has to deal with that. What's going on over here? Just gonna have to hold. Let's bring in the reinforcements from over here onto this command post then. Before they can take that and deploy in our backs. Come on. This is turning into the horrible mess it did not need to be. I'd love to see exactly what's in here. Uh, who is that? That's just a general Jedi. Deal with the artillery, please, before that hurts us. Get on top of this. Deal with the military field base, please. What's hurt us over here? That is the AA once again, which has dealt, unfortunately, with our defensive artillery. Actually, we need this over here because let's bring these over here. Get some AA up to deal with that. We've taken this command post, or at least neutralized it, so if we can deal with anything else, do need to deal with this though, unfortunately, still. Uh, a lot of bad commands have led to us pushing with our light artillery here. Okay, I think. Okay, okay. How are we doing? We need to pull around over here, don't we? Because these infantry units just aren't going to do anything. We'd love to know where. Oh, that's a bombing run. That's a bombing run. Okay, we know what to do with that. We need to move. We certainly need to move. Let's split. Dealt with two of three bombers. Need to split a bit harder. That's dealt with. Excellent stuff. Let's push up over here then. Because that's, of course, where the enemy is at the moment. I would love to know where Obi-Wan is. Ah, oh, he's dealing with that. So that's what he's doing. That means he's captured the points over there. Let's focus on the... I don't actually know what this is called. HAT. There's an Obi-Wan. That's rather unfortunate oversight, actually. 
poor reactions. We need to recapture this as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. Let's attack move over to this direction. Could even bring him over to the anti-infantry gun there. That might just help. Generally want to go with heavy munitions against uh, Jedi because they can absorb and heal from standard blasters. Get on top of this, capture that. Over one, deal with him. Focus fire, please. Oh, nasty, nasty tanks. Nasty, nasty tanks. Deal with this uh, speed very quickly. They are going to deploy, deploy clones. Over one, how you doing? He needs to go down. Just can't keep up with his healing, unfortunately. I think it would help us actually if we took the. Let's just take this one back. Um, hidden vehicle fracture over here. I need to just get on top of this command post so they actually don't take it. That's the best priority there. Enemy bombardment ready, unfortunately. You know where that's going to hit. Let's spread. Have we dealt with Obi-Wan yet? No, we haven't. That's absolutely disgusting. He's just going to heal off of that, isn't it? He needs to stop firing. He's actually taking the bloody command post off of us. The dirty boy. Um, let's guess over here, block him off. Just gonna have to try and hit him. We do have some stats actually, and that'll deal with him quite easily. Attack move there. What are we dealing with here? It looks like it is just Obi-Wan, so as long as he doesn't capture any command posts. As long as he doesn't capture any command posts, he says. Can't quite see him just yet. Come on, we get a view here. No, that's just obstruction. Come on. I need to get these spiders on him, really. He is going to go down. Have to stack over here to deal with him. Drop the mine and run. Come on. It's nearly down. Nearly down. He's a tough cookie. A tough, tough cookie. Doing his a favour at the end of the day here, isn't he? But he is down. He is down. And that, two Jedi for one defence. And that just proves the valuable aspect of having a good defence there. So we have lost a tactical droid, unfortunately. We have lost a good amount of our defence. Uh, so we are going to have to rebuild that. Actually, there's a loss of defence. That's a loss of defence. But I think, unfortunately, guys, that is going to be it for today once again. Very sorry to say. But uh, we need to come back with a fresh mind after that, don't we? So, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, next video will be, unfortunately, dealing with the backlash. Dealing with uh, somewhat exposed prey. So we do have grievous bouts to deal with that at Quell. But that's quite the jump over to Wayland. Uh, so that's going to be rather interesting. We may actually be losing Wayland once again. Uh, because we've only just reinforced it very lightly over here. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the future. May all of your nights and days be auspicious. Goodbye.